Hello and welcome to Tutorials by Larry. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a precision mechanism using the Minecraft Create mod. Now these things are very important for later on in the game when you want to start making things like mechanical arms and speed controllers. And they're not very hard to build. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, the ingredients are very simple. Uh, you basically just need three deployers, three chutes, you need three barrels, but in this case we're going to use five because I'm going to use a barrel to deploy the materials and then a barrel to catch them at the end. And then you need two funnels. And andesite funnels are fine, you don't need brass funnels, you don't need filters, anything fancy like that. Um, you are going to need some mechanical belts. Uh, the amount of belts is up to you, it depends how you set up all your gearing and stuff. And then a certain amount of shafts as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have a little space here in my little personal factory and basically all you need is a single power source coming in and I have one right here. There's actually a, a water wheel right underneath my floor here and nothing fancy. I'm not gearing it down or anything. Just a simple water wheel running at its basic power. That's all you need. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to set some type of a conveyor belt up that's going to take materials and move them from this point all the way down to this point. So let's go ahead and get a mechanical belt going here. Actually, we're also going to set up a shaft. We'll stick it right on that casing. And then we'll set up a belt right there. Okay, now we're gonna need three deployers. Uh, th what these are gonna do is you're gonna feed gold sheets into the conveyor belt and the deployers are going to put items into the sheet and then you have to repeat that process five times in order to make the precision mechanism. So let's put some deployers um, kind of right here on these columns. Again, how you place them um, is up to you, but you have to have three of them and they need to be in a row and I'll show you how that works. So uh, let's get some shafts here and what I'm going to do is set them up just like so and then we'll stick another one here here and here and then we'll get some belts and we'll stick them like this basically our deployers are going to need power so let's go ahead and get those out Stick them on there, and that's not going to work. Hang on. Basically have to get it at the right angle. Of course, that's not it. Um, you can always use your wrench to uh, change the angle that this is at. All right, so now basically what we need to do is feed materials into the deployers. So a couple different ways of doing that. But before we do that, I'm going to actually grab a couple of barrels and we are going to stick those barrels we'll put one here we'll put another one here and then we're going to get some funnels so basically what we'll do is this barrel here is where we're going to stick our golden sheets um, and that's uh, the base material for these precision controllers so uh, what we'll do is we'll get a funnel and we'll stick it right on the front of that barrel and we'll do another one here because as they come down the conveyor belt and they get all the pieces inserted into the sheet, it's going to feed into this barrel here. So let's change the orientation of this so that it's facing into the barrel. And then this one is facing out, so we're good to go. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to feed the items into these deployers. So let me go ahead and um, grab some chutes. And let me just hop up here. We'll stick the chute there and here and here. And then we're going to stick some barrels right on top of those. Okay. Uh, they're facing the wrong direction, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Basically, we're going to put items in the barrels, they're going to fall into the chutes and then go into the deployers. So, the ingredients you need to make the precision controllers are small cog wheels, large cog wheels, and iron nuggets. 
So the way I generally do it is I'll put the small cog wheels in the first deployer. And if you mouse over the deployer here, if you're wearing your goggles, you'll see this deployer now has 25 cog wheels inside of it. And we'll do the same here for the large ones. And we'll do the same here for the iron nuggets. Okay, and that's basically it. That is the entire mechanism you need to make these precision mechanisms. So uh, let me go ahead and right click on this barrel here and I'm gonna stick five golden sheets in here. And then you'll see it's going to insert the components into the sheets. And then when it's all done, it sticks them into the funnel here. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, let's open that up. And now we have these incomplete precision mechanisms. And you can see the progress on them is three out of 15. So basically you've got to repeat that process five times. Now, there's a chance each time it runs through there, these can actually get destroyed. So all the components and everything you had are basically lost. And that's just part of the deal with, with making these things is that they don't always work. But um, you usually get about maybe an 80% return rate on these. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep repeating this process and I'll see you here in a second. Okay, these are on the last step here. So um, I'm gonna stick all of them in here and I'll let you see what happens. And hopefully you're lucky and most of these or all of these end up uh, turning into precision mechanisms. Okay, that first one worked. You can see they changed their appearance. Oh wow, we got lucky. We got five out of five. Yep, so that's basically it. Uh, you now have precision mechanisms. You can use these things to create mechanical arms, um, and more importantly, you can use them to create speed controllers. That completely changes everything uh, with all the crafting and everything you do in the Create Mod. So that's basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again in the next tutorial on the Minecraft Create Mod. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.